Adam, it's been a very distracting time for Brad Keselowski. They did not pit at lap 141 because they've been having radio problems for quite a while. Here's part of that radio conversation. Gotta do a good job here of being able to make it, you know, have the while we are in traffic. I got no idea what you're saying, Paul. Anybody home? Joey, Paul, anybody? Radio check, anybody home? On the next stop, they do plan to give him a second radio, if he can hook that up, guys. Clear, clear. Wow, he can <laughs> <it. laughs> the There was no there. way that thing was going to stick. Us. Now they go three wide for the lead. That's Kyle Busch in the middle, Tony Stewart making it happen down low. I, I think the two car drove in there so deep, the 18 had to give him a little bit of room, and Tony just had a run on it. How about these guys stayed out? Under that 14 last caution slides the ride, up the two. racetrack there. I mean, he really pushed up. And he did the same thing. He drove in there really, really hard, tried to stay underneath. And boy, that car just took off. It's kind of an accident that got Brad Keselowski in the race lead with the radio problems, but he's proving he belongs. And, and he said, he, he said he's got his radio problems fixed. So what's the latest from Brad Keselowski and his team, Marty? Well, when you heard that radio and the crackle, that's what he hears from his spotter. So he does hear from his spotter, but it does break up every once in a while. And now they're going old school with some signals.